Hi, I'm Carol, and you're watching Saturn's technology tutorial on what is hyperconverged. So, what is hyperconverged? Hmm, hyperconverged is a type of infrastructure system with a software centric architecture that combines compute, storage, networking, and virtualization in a tightly integrated hardware box supported by a single vendor. Hmm, but doesn't that sound a lot like the definition of converged infrastructure? What's this whole hyper thing? Got it. So, hyperconverged means packing all the convergence into a much smaller individual unit. So, it's hyperconverged, full convergence sold in smaller units at a time. In fact, it's so hyperconverged that the server storage and the virtualized software component are set up to always work together as one system, hand in glove, for all workloads and are never intended to be separated or siloed out, regardless of the application. And it takes a very software-centric approach, a little bit like one of these. So now that you understand the basics, why do you care? Well. For a number of reasons, most importantly, these three. Low price point per unit, extremely easy rollout and management, and extremely scalable. Let's look at three very quick case studies to see how these apply. Case number one, a startup company is showing some real growth and they need to quickly roll out a comprehensive infrastructure solution, but do not have the funds, expertise, nor time to roll out a silo data center. In this case, a hyperconverged system, such as HPE's HC380, would be perfect. Not only can they roll out quickly using limited human resources, but they also can completely avoid the unnecessarily complicated mess that some silo data centers can create. This firm essentially needs an easy to manage VM vending machine, which is what hyperconverged is. Okay, case number two. A mid-sized company has been operating for decades with traditional silo infrastructure but due to recent personnel loss and upcoming retirement of key IT managers, needs a new solution that the next generation comprehends better. One that allows for significantly reduced complexity in IT systems management. Again, hyperconverged applies perfectly to this case too. And now for case number three. A large corporation that opens up branches and remote offices regularly and needs a compact yet scalable solution to quickly get things rolling in their peripheral environment. Well, you guessed it! Looks like we're 3 for 3! Hyperconverged is also a great solution for this case. It applies so well to these three different use cases because their core requirements are all the same. Low cost of both the hardware and the human resources to manage it extremely easy to roll out, manage, and maintain, and ability to start small and scale out as needed. So, I hope you now have a better understanding of what is hyperconverged. To summarize, yes, it is true that sometimes you may need the larger converged solution, kind of like, say, the full-sized Superman, similar to HPE's CS900. However, other times you will need the smaller per unit hyperconverged solution, kind of like Mighty Mouse, a whole lot of integrated power packed into a small unit from which you can flexibly scale as needed. This is similar to HPE's hyperconverged 380. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you for the next Saturn technology tutorial.